Mm. Did you uh, monetize it? Mm -hmm. You did? All right. Well, mm -hmm. You're quick. Hello, everybody. Everybody, is anyone there? <laughs> yeah, it's four people. Really? Yeah. How we got happen? four people in the chat. We got, let's see who's here. David's moving some stuff yeah. around. Hello, everyone. Shao Khan. Okay. Out of sight. Out of sight. Alpha Tryon. Okay, uh, Alpha Tryon. Uh, yeah, Came Union is there. Dragon Lover is there. Out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Came Union and Dragon. Thus far. Thus far. Thus far. Hold on, let me What's do wrong? this. Nothing. I'm making well, sure Facebook. we're. Everywhere we want to be, okay. that's all. I don't know if Facebook is going to do. Can, people usually come in. Close that. People usually come in from Facebook. So, yeah, sometimes. Um, but every time I look on it, I can't never see nothing. So I yeah, don't we know. don't know what what the hell's going on with Facebook or if we should <laughs> we even try. bother. We try, but people do come on. Yeah. So, and they say hey or whatever. <laughs> But anyway, we hoping y'all had a very uneventful week as all, always. All are, are all are welcome as long as uh, as long as you behave yourself. <laughs> we try to keep it uh, nostalgia based. Yeah, lighthearted yeah. nostalgia based toys and comics and uh, what are those? What are those germ figures? Those were made by Worlds of Wonder. Wow. The same company that did Teddy Ruxpin. Mm -hmm. And they were made in 1988. And there are 12 in the set. And I have seven of them. Mm. I mean, I could pull one and show you. Yeah, show them uh, what I, it's about. A lot of people have probably never heard of these. They are actually surprisingly rare. If you were to look these up on eBay, you probably won't see more than five carded. And essentially... It's Come uh, down something yeah. right there. It's a test tube, a, and these are heavy actually. It's a big, thick plastic test tube with a germ in it, and this one is uh, Hoopa hickacilia. Mm -hmm. They're not real germs. They're not based on anything real. It's stuff that was made up by Worlds of Wonder, and there you see on the back here, collect all twelve. Collect all. 12. Collect all twelve, and I, again, I have seven different. Which this is a very very tough set to complete. Mm. Original price tag on there from KB Toy Store is ninety seven cents, ladies and gentlemen. And they they skimped. The card backs are nice and solid, but it's the same exact card back for every one. Mm -hmm. And what they did was they just put a sticker on it to match what was ever in the jar. Essentially. Yeah. Yeah, came in and says, I said it before, the germs were a unique concept. Yes, indeed. And they also want to know, did you pick up any of those Dragon Ball? Oh, no. Those, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, those uh, counterfeit ones, those knockoffs. Robert's hey, there. Robert. <coughs> Weird. It didn't um, let me message for a second. Weird. I thought you be at a convention this weekend. Next no, weekend. Next, weekend next weekend is a convention. And we were at one last weekend. Um, we put up the video from there. That was a yeah. lot of fun. We did two actually because we did a tour. Because mm -hmm. you know they like for us to do a tour. We actually get press passes for that now. <laughs> so they like us to do a tour, and um, which is fine because people enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And then we did a highlight reel afterwards. Let me get that as a piece of tape on the floor. Yeah, we did a highlight reel. We went around and we highlighted some. Interesting figures, some very rare yeah, ones, the some stuff you super never, expensive yeah, ones. Yeah, stuff you never see yeah. that we thought would be rather interesting for uh, for people to, to look at, you know, things you don't normally find at the shows, like the biker mice from Mars, motorcycles. You never see them. Every once in a while, you find the carded figure, but you never see the motorcycles. Yeah, and somebody mm -hmm. had a bunch. A couple of people had some, and then a lot of uh, a couple of people had the newer ones. Mm -hmm. So they were there, 
and they were around so that was nice and it was kind of fun doing the um the highlight reels you know going around looking yeah. at some and kind of talking about it slowing down really taking a look and of what's out there especially stuff that you really ever see and sasquatch toys had a sealed technodrome <laughs> a sealed or technodrome yes. from, uh, from ninja turtles playmates and it's like holy crap yeah and the box was nice too it wasn't like a, a crap yeah, box something real quick go ahead Keep it wasn't talking. a crappy box yeah somebody was munching an odie there it's uh, my wife's Odie doll <laughs> that usually sits on the, the chair here. And he's vintage, of course. Because yeah. Why not? And you remember Odie? Odie was always getting tormented by Garfield. Yeah. Garfield didn't like him. Hey, T. Stewart. Hey, Stewart is there. And just Jeff. Uh, um, this one is make sure I said hello to you. Robert says he's having a bad week at work. Oh, no. Robert had an eventful week. Uh -huh. It's nice talking, chatting with you. Bad week at work. Uh -huh. uh, but I digress. Good scene. Happy friends. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank hey, you. Punisher X. Punisher X is there. Just tuned in. We just turned on. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Like I said, I hope uh, for the majority of it all, you had a very uneventful week. Not too much going on. Robert had some stuff going on. Yes. But hopefully it didn't knock you all off track that bad. You know, it wasn't stuff that really just threw you for a loop and kept you up at night. We don't have a, a Garfield. I don't even know where we got there that old There is a Garfield. From. I gave this to you. Okay. But the, there is a Garfield in the office upstairs. Oh. Because, you know, they got to stay away from each other. Uh, toy collector wish book. Yeah. Um, we know the guy. What? That's the guy that does the action figure photography. And oh, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, um, we saw him. We saw him at the show. We know him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has... Um, we actually we're the first people to ever interview him yeah he did at a, one like of the a, shows mm -hmm. yeah um what's the mcdonald's box back there mcdonald oh that is the mcdonald land play set 1976 remco and because you see the mcdonald land figures up there those are the remco figures lined mm -hmm. up on top of it and the box there is the play set that goes with that figure series and that one's um it's unplayed with mm -hmm. and it took forever it took years and years for me to find one that was in that kind of condition because usually even when you find it in the box it's just a box full of parts yeah. that you can you can pour it out and put it together but i wanted one that looked like if you had got it new and man that took a long time mm. uh came in and sealed technodrome he wanted four thousand yeah wasn't it 46 four thousand dollars oh yeah 4k four thousand dollars yeah four thousand yep. yeah. Oh, Jess Jeff just picked up the um uh the wish Volume book. Two. Yeah. yeah, of the wish book. Gonna grab Vine. And it yeah. has like a layout that looks like um like you're looking at an old toy catalog. The Sears, um, even one of the newspapers, and they had, had the toys laid out so you could see each one, and then they had the name of the, the vehicle or the toy or, or something like that. Yeah. So it does. Oh, we got <laughs> muted somehow or another? Were we? Yeah, I saw a flash up there that said there was a connectivity issue, but it, it, it was pretty quick. Oh, can y'all hear us now? Yeah. I hope so. Let us know if you can hear us. Tonight. If you see comics at Goodwill, you'll cry because it's gonna. The price is gonna be insane for some garbage. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. That's that's what happens at Goodwill. No, um, a lot of times you might see comics at the flea market. Yeah, but Goodwill. Sometimes I think we've that's seen, painful too. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Thank you, T. Stewart. Thank you, T. Stewart. Thank you. Yes, you can send loot. <laughs> Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, we saw a lot of uh -huh. comics at the flea market and antique malls. Okay, so Max Mueller says it sounds okay, good. Okay, good. Okay. What was the ultimate comic set you mentioned in video? Yikes. 
You weren't kidding. Oh, he, was... he's talking about those pre-code pre-code horror covers. Is that the one? Oh, because they made the uh, the action figure series the uh, reactions from uh, Super Seven. Yeah, those look good. They're very Especially valuable. Especially if you um, cause the ones that Super Seven was showing are the ones that you have to win the lottery to buy. So yeah, <laughs> it's like the, an alternative. Very um. Very few of them survived the yeah. seduction of the innocent trials in the 1950s because they had book burnings. They were they were burning comics. That's why, even though the original, I think the Action Comics number one had initially sold 200,000 plus copies, mm -hmm. and you can't find but like 60 or 70 of them now that are accounted for yeah. because people were burning them. You know, people don't learn their lessons, unfortunately. They just fought a war over that sort of thing in World War II. Yeah. Where they were burning the books, if y'all saw Fahrenheit. For, and it's two. The original one is the best, of course. The, 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 the re, film? Yeah. Yeah, it's closer to the book. Yeah, the remake wasn't bad. I, I did kind of like the remake, yeah. but the, the the original was really good. But yeah, it was all about book burning. Yeah, and we bought back at that uh, well, stage. That seems that's, like that's part of the plot. That's part of the plot. The um, the, the main <laughs> yeah reaction reaction will be on Clarence. <laughs> the um, the the with the yeah the, for Fahrenheit four fifty one. The, the main focus from the writer's perspective was on the one scene. Ooh. What? Uh, he went to Fat Boys <clears throat> album. I'll give you Kumo D album. What Fat Boys album? Which one? Mm. Well, honestly, uh, that Fat Boys album is not mine. That's David. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Fat Boys and I have the Fat Boys are back. Yeah. So th that's actually... If it's in a lot, but I don't seek it out. Um, <coughs> I do have a lot of rap albums, though. But the rap albums I got, I got them in a lot. Um, only one that I really went out and bought. I didn't look. For, well, yeah, two. One I actually looked for, and that was um, uh, uh the show Dougie Fresh, the show, yeah. and somebody had a lot of them. And it was three albums. It was the show and two others. And um, I sought that out in the LL Cool J um, Bad album. Um, those two I actually went out and bought. The rest that I have, um, I got in lots. And, it's actually... and I think it was Ray Bradbury, right? That well, wrote Fahrenheit 451. But oh, you know, getting know. back to the original point, <laughs> the, um, the main... For him, the whole point of that story is focused around that scene yeah. where she gets the letter in the mail and mm -hmm. she's going to participate in the live show. And they turn towards the uh, camera and they say, what do you think, Susan? And she froze up. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, I didn't know what to do. And her husband was like, they gave everyone in the country a card named Susan. Okay. That's just yeah. part of the game. And it was uh, his thing was about how people are, are sucked in by media and they don't pay attention to the world around them. But um yeah, they do make they do have reprints of yeah. the pre-code horrors. <laughs> it is reprints out there, and not all <coughs> oh, pre-code horror is that much. It depends on what's on the cover. Yeah. So if it's one of those controversial covers, like I tell I, I talk about all the time, somebody's getting killed, um, it's a suicide that kind of stuff then yeah the price is going to go way anything up. that was featured for, uh, for some collectors the sodi collection they call it seduction of the innocent any of the um books that were featured either in the book mm -hmm. or the, the the book that started the whole thing mm -hmm. complaining about these comics or that were featured in the trial when they were uh when they had the congressional hearings um yeah it's stupid to burn a book if you don't like it don't, don't read, read it. it um i mean that's that's my thing about everything you don't like a book you don't like a song a record an album a group a tv show a movie <laughs> don't watch it don't listen to it i wouldn't burn it um 
I, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's just straight off ignorance. Yeah. Um, and people I, get sucked know. into it too easy. Yeah, and then you, you're controlling everybody's life, but then you're talking about, oh, we, we need to be free and I want to be diverse and all of this. And, and all that, but then you want everybody to be exactly the same, but that's too political and that's not what we're here yeah. for. So we're gonna move on. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm curious, yeah, if you send us a package, if anybody sends a package, it'll come to our PO box. We yeah. go pick it up yeah. and then we do an unboxing. And if it's like, um, if it's UPS or FedEx, and I did a video on that. Mm -hmm. Is that they uh PO box they can't if they don't have the physical address. Yeah, yeah. So the post office gives you physical address. And you just write that down. And then the UP um FedEx and Amazon and everybody else uh deliver to it. But if you put PO box, blah blah blah, they're not. But if you yeah. put the actual address, street address, and the post office gives that to you now. Um they'll they'll deliver yeah and, and i explained it in detail in a, <clears throat> a video like about a year ago you can find it in the archives mm -hmm. no you can they'll hold if, if a package is delivered to the p.o box they put a slip in in the box mm -hmm. and you take the slip up front to pick up the package they have a holding area yeah and another good thing about the p.o box if it has to be if the uh package has to be signed for they assign yeah. for it the the post office employee assigned for that package and then they put the slip in your box so you can get you can rent the smallest box there that's what we do yeah we get the smallest box and if you got a package they'll just put a slip in your box to say <clears throat> you have a package and then you go up to the window or they have little drop boxes depending on the size of the package and if it fits in the drop box they put it in the drop box if it's too big for that then you go to the window and they give you your package yes. and it's already signed for and all of that so you can just go so yeah you could just go they just scan it out and you leave mm -hmm. and they also do that at the ups store the fedex store and then they have those mailbox stores mailbox etc yeah Something and, like and they have all those types of things so you, so you can do that if you don't want stuff coming to your house um you know because if they leave packages on the porch sometimes people steal the packages yeah but now with those doorbell cameras because i know our doorbell camera they tell you it tells you a package is at the door and then if you pick up that package it says it'll send you a message package has been removed yeah so um you always hear these horror stories about people that say a package was delivered and then they get home and it's, there. it's nothing there or it's put on the porch but then it rains on you so then <laughs> the package the soggy box yeah and then it might be something in there that could get damaged so especially uh, with a lot of the stuff we have yeah i mean if it's just you know nothing that really matters all that much um you know might be all right yeah but if you're getting action figures and stuff like that you kind of want those to go to the post office just because it's um it's it's safer because it's not on the porch in case it rains or in case somebody comes and try to steal it yes so and walter has joined us hey walter Hello, how walter. are you walter van winkle van winkle is he sleeping like rip van winkle <laughs> or is or is he like uh the older brother to rob van winkle oh rob van winkle yeah, rob that's van winkle. Vanilla, ice. vanilla ice that's right <laughs> vanilla ice 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 baby <laughs> <laughs> and on and on mm -hmm. but yeah we did that and also we got the um since the fat boys were brought up which actually the fat boys uh the original album
can you we hear can, us now? We can try and wait. If not, then we'll just have to log off and try to do it again at another time. So I guess we still, because nobody's saying that. Well, we we'll do see have here in a second, because I, I know I saw the, you see that, uh, if you see at the top. Always uh, use. <laughs> says yes. Yeah, so the sound is back if now. If you see uh, at the very top of the screen, there's a yellow bar that pops up. Yeah. That, okay, it's back that's up. That's a warning. Hey, Reston. That's a warning. But um, I wonder what's going on. Ko says sounds good. I don't know. That happens. Um, that's happened to me a couple of times. Oh. Okay. Is some, I don't know if it's restream or what the hell, because we're hard lined in. It's not Wi-Fi. I don't. I don't like using the Wi-Fi for that kind of stuff. Hey, David, long time okay. viewer and I follower. Collect her. I love your channel, man. I have a channel too. I open Pokemon, uh, Dragon Ball, and cards. So much fun. I also collect a lot of figures. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't do cards. I don't mm -hmm. really do uh, trading cards or other types of stuff. But um, yeah, we uh, I did the short earlier because we were out the flea, at the flea market and she ended up with another massive uh, <laughs> record lot that we're we're sorting through. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna show it though because um, four hundred people... vinyl records or however many. People asked to um, ask if we were going to show what we got, and it's actually a lot of good stuff. This um, this lot is mainly, no, not mainly, it is rap and R and B. So it was one stick album in there, <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of it is all rap and R and B, mm -hmm. classic R and B too. It's yeah. not nothing from the. I don't think it's nothing. From the nineties, the rap. There's a couple stuff, early, early. I'm talking about the R and B stuff. Oh, R and B. The rap okay. stuff goes up to the nineties. I don't think it's nothing newer than the nineties. Yeah. Next time. Trades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Moon Dust said records is the new Funko Pops. Is it? <laughs> I hope no, not. No, no. Funko Pops aren't doing well. No, it's they, not doing, they're well, not doing well anymore. Yeah, I collect like 80s Joe. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, the vehicles. Wow. Okay. I like the way the vehicles yeah. look. I like the box art. I like the way they look displayed even loose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Collect says uh, it's just uh, he know he knows, but it's awesome to see another person appreciating collecting for the fun. And that's yeah. really what it's all about. Yeah. But if, if you enjoy that, there you go, because we all need our... Um, our sanctuary and that's what this is for us down here it's just a sanctuary because mm -hmm. we can uh hang around and like we listen to our albums and, yeah you know rearrange things and read read comic books or, or read other books and just whatever and everybody needs something like that in their life i think um the best comic i mean walter yeah. uh toy shows the ones we just went to last <clears throat> week is the um the toy lanta toy, toy Lanta is really good yeah again we did a, a video about that yeah and then you have joe lanta that's coming up yeah it, it and... should lean more towards gi joe than toy lanta but there's still going to be a lot of vintage because if you've noticed if you saw the toy lanta tour you didn't see much new stuff yeah yeah it was, a, it they, was a few yeah there was a few but not much because mm -hmm. they they prefer to uh the show promoters <laughs> prefer it lean vintage how's a jukebox coming oh, wow. along you should do an update video yeah, on work, working on it, working on it. All around is fruit stains island, <laughs> and collect says been collecting a lot of vintage Ninja Turtles. Wow, okay. I never, I didn't get into the vintage Ninja Turtles because of the price. So I bought the newer stuff from Super 7. Uh -huh. And when NECA first started with the yeah. two packs, I was doing that. Because the old Playmate stuff can get very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it really can. Oh, David McNichol is here. Glad you could make it. Reston said they have a couple old family Polaroid photos that are cracking. I was able to scan them to save them, but there's any way to stop the cracking on the originals. Uh, no, no. photo restoration, they, they're, they're oxidizing. So they would have to be sealed. Oh yeah. 
you know how like in the old photo albums this is the reason why if you've seen the uh, i know people don't have photo albums anymore <laughs> but when you open the photo album page it's a thick card stock mm -hmm. and it's got plastic on both ends that are kind of almost adhesive and you peel it open mm -hmm. put the photos in and then and then kind of close seal it, it and, you, and you push the air out of it mm -hmm. and that um and that helps to slow down the oxidization of the photo stock paper oh yeah um eric is talking about how the disc rot and his superman tin got messed up real bad yeah i've heard that forgot about the jukebox but before. that's primarily um that's primarily like due to temperature changes a lot of times you see that with uh dvds or cds that came out of a storage locker because oh. it's hot cold hot cold mm. there's no constant temperature what's this rot what that look like uh you get these uh kind of fuzzy spots oh. it looks like mm -hmm. almost like this smudges oh. and it doesn't play properly oh. i collect says he's been he's collecting been the, the vehicles. vehicles okay Oh, Meeting the news that van. channel. Oh, yeah. I don't think I ever seen a news van. And zombies here in the house. Hi, in everyone. Canada. Yeah, I don't think I ever seen the <coughs> the van, the the news yeah. van. Superman said, "Yikes!" You watch Super. You know, my uh, my son used to want to watch Superman four, over and over and over, and that's the one. It starts off bad because they do this whole slapstick routine at the beginning. Because, mm. you know, the first two were pretty pretty well done. Mm -hmm. And then the third and fourth Superman installments were actually not that great. Um, but the fourth one where what Lex Luthor makes like his own supervillain mm. with like a strand of Superman's hair that he obtained. And he spoke the, the poor actor couldn't even use his own voice it was lex's voice mm -hmm. when he talked mm -hmm. i am the father now <laughs> but, what do you think about records being slabbed and graded uh i don't know i mean if they're already because they're people who do that are doing it with sealed copies so if it's sealed mm. do you need to slab and grade it because it's not going to get better than sealed you know what i mean it's not like with the comic where there's this whole massive grading scale. Mm -hmm. um, you can start grading a an album slipcover mm -hmm. and go by the same kind of standard, I, I guess, that you would with comics or anything else. But if it's still sealed in like the uh, the cellophane wrap, unless something happened to it, it got all banged up or whatever, that's about as good as it's going to get. <laughs> I guess. So mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that because I know they're doing that. They're 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 grading um, cassette tapes. They're yeah, grading VCR tapes, v, yeah, DVDs. VHSs, all What's kinds of stuff. What's the point now. in that though? Money. But I'm saying I'm <laughs> well. I don't know. It's just me. I'm happy to just have it. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, um, David saw that Hasbro revealed more stuff at WonderCon. Yeah. I don't, I mean, like we showed on the video Friday, yesterday, they had who, that Mattel with that wave of masters. Oh, yeah, massive like, wave of masters. When Universe is that coming, coming out? Hey, Ray, when is that coming out? I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 they'll trickle it in over the summer, I guess. But I don't think that's how that's going to happen. I think it's going to all come out at once. My grandmother has a photo yeah. album. So I got photos they're not in the album yeah but i got pictures i took and took the film in to get developed i got them in a big old box there's a ton of them yeah in the box but growing up we always had photo albums yeah and now people don't do it anymore because no, they just it's, it's all on their phone <laughs> and you know i mean if you want to preserve a grade especially if you got something that's really stupid rare or um fragile and you want to preserve its condition i can understand that and i, I can see that also with trading cards because they're very fragile mm. but a lot of that other stuff i mean i don't know about grading a, a vhs cassette you know what i mean um Zom says he was listening to a podcast 
and the fellow mentioned that the prices at Toyota have to come down. Same vendors with the same stuff and same prices. Any thoughts? It depends because we saw stuff there that we hadn't seen before. Uh, like if you saw uh, the haul that we had, when do you ever see uh, Exo Squad? And she <laughs> ended up with what seven of them? I think yeah. yeah, you never see Excel Squad. There's stuff there that you didn't see, but there are also certain high end items yeah. that do hang around because it's a hard sell. And yeah. when you're talking about like when we went to that one guy, a GI Ace. Yeah. I mean, some of his uh some of his carded sets are worth over ten thousand a piece. But I mean, but is that a place to bring Uh, I don't know no. at a show. I mean, I'm not saying people don't do that sure. because I've I've watched um uh, it was um San Diego Comic Con a couple of years back. Yeah. And this guy filmed. Uh, they had a scare glow, and I can't remember how much it was. It was like five thousand yeah. dollars. He bought that and a couple of other high end figures, all of them for over a thousand dollars. Yeah. Because people do or like the um. The power con the last power con mm -hmm. there was a big to do because somebody came there mm -hmm. and bought those two italian jumbo figures yeah Remember? yeah they were five thousand a piece i mean so and it happens sometimes yeah. those shows are the only place you can find yeah. it sometimes because i don't i don't even know if i would want to go on ebay and, and find <clears throat> that and and then pray to God the person ship it and it doesn't get damaged. Oh uh, yeah, I wouldn't want that mailed. <laughs> now maybe <laughs> if it was on heritage, because they take better care, but then you're gonna pay a twenty to twenty percent premium, premium on each item. Yeah, so if um, something's a hundred dollars, you're paying hundred and twenty and yeah, so on. Yeah. And that's that's something a lot of people don't think about when they say, Oh, well, this sold for only a thousand dollars at Heritage. No, it sold for a thousand two hundred. <laughs> that's it plus tax. Yeah, plus and tax shipping. and shipping. So so I mean the stuff that some yeah. of those people have are very expensive. And you gotta know how to haggle too, because yeah, I mean that that again, I couldn't do what I did if I was paying full price for anything mm -hmm. and i had th there were people that had um pretty high numbers on certain things and i was like can you do this and they're like uh and they, they think well how about this and you know yeah but just because that price is on it i mean they don't really expect to get that specific price i think yeah. some people don't know how to haggle yeah and and then you know it was yeah. this one guy he didn't move on his price. well when i bought um some stuff from him the mm -hmm. first time I, you know, I was like, will you take this? And then we met in the middle. This next day, he had something. Mm -hmm. And I said, will you take this? He was like, no, I got to have this amount. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, you got to ask. Sure. You know, the guy that I bought the X, X, Exo Squad stuff from, yes. I was like, will you take this? He was like, yeah. You know, yeah, and she went way under. And sometimes, you know, you do you do that, but yeah. you know, she went way under on it. And the guy was like, "Sure, I'll do that." Yeah, and <laughs> then I was day, like, "Oh wow, okay." Yeah, the day with the <laughs> records, I asked the guy how much are the records, and he was like two dollars a piece. I was like, "What about the whole thing?" And then he started looking around, and I was like, "How about forty dollars? You ain't gonna ever sell it." Yeah, and she she actually said that to him. She's like, "You're not gonna sell these," and he goes, "Probably yeah. not." <laughs>
just like forget it. You want them, you could do with this, just get get rid of these. Dis but you got the eggs. <laughs> yeah. Display name says that uh his dad doesn't like him looking at Supergirl. I think there's a really goofy eighties. Is it no late seventies? Late seventies supergirl movie. It's pretty bad, but it's fun. You know, it's kind it's of just... yeah. <laughs> it, it's uh and Zom doesn't like grading toys. I'm not too happy about that either for a bunch of reasons and part of it is because i've and they get crazy bids when they um mm. they get crazy bids on them when they're graded yeah and there has been a lot of controversy over the companies doing the grading and they're being connected directly with uh with sales mm -hmm. which is a no-no but you know, I don't. I you know, just rumors. I don't know anything for sure. <laughs> the leg bear bonds. If you want to make money, enjoy yeah. your records. Comments. There you go. Display. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not too thrilled with the idea of um, of grading toys. Moon phase makes no sense with so many ending and all is yeah. Yeah, a lot of them are getting dumped, and it's uh, but there's tons. There's yeah. tons of them coming out. But the thing, and and I've said it before, and Robert, no, I don't have the attorney a place at. That's that's not one I'm, you know, I I even care to get. But one thing I've always said before is, um, when they come out with these, especially the masses of the universe, yeah. it's always the exact same figures. And if you watch the show, it's a lot of characters on the show. It was a lot, a lot of repeat characters. Sometimes they were on there twice, yeah, or maybe once. And but they, it was a good episode. And it's like, why don't you ever do that? They never did Oracle's little girlfriend or his uncle <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> Ecto Squad. Yeah, oh, you got a value Exosquad. village. Yeah. <laughs> You know what, though? Part of that also... Is the freezing just happening for me? I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, somebody said that it there was an issue. To Ross and the hand. Yeah. Point Dread for $15.99. Wow. Yeah, and Robert says, how many versions of He-Man are out there? Kit Bash looked really good. It was a He-Man Masters with Filmation He-Man Head. It looked good, but it was a combination. Yeah. yeah. Too many versions. And there there's a reason behind... There's reasoning behind that from the... Uh, from the purpose of of mattel and that is uh, a lot of people aren't aware but most of those characters mm -hmm. are actually filmation properties mm -hmm. they are not owned by mattel so mattel will continue to reissue repaint repackage the ones that they own but if they want to make something new they got to go crawling to uh filmation and pray that it won't cost too much now that's what Super Seven was doing. Mm -hmm. Super Seven went to Filmation. Can we do this? Can we do this? That's how come they were doing figures you never saw. Oh, now we're freezing and got no sound. Oh boy. Um, no, Robert, I don't have the attorney a preset. I saw somewhere Makari is getting. Charade, yeah. Oh no. Solo Fairs, we got a moment. I have vintage cancel. Okay, did Grace they... from the. I guess we're back up. I guess we're back. back if talking. it flickered again, I didn't see I it. I didn't see it flicker yeah. again. So it's getting Bakugan. I don't know anything about Bakugan. Oh, that's one of those. Um, it's a game. Yeah. Anime figures, right? Solo Fairs. No, can... Is there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I, I think we're back on because uh, Munda okay. said yes. <laughs> yeah, but again, I'm not even on Wi-Fi. I mean, no, we're, we're, so we're I don't, wired in. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, why we keep getting muted? But again, uh, Filmation still owns the rights to many of those. Super Seven was willing to negotiate. Mm -hmm. For some reason, there's an issue when it comes to Mattel negotiating, and so they they. Oh, they keep giving you the characters that they have the rights to over and over and over again but yeah makari um they have eliminated all seller fees mm -hmm. and starting I, and i think this it's not it's suspended for the time being but in sometime in april when you withdraw your money there'll be a two dollar surcharge mm -hmm. because when you um you can they hold it they hold your money like a a separate bank account almost and you can spend it on macari with no charge mm -hmm. or you can uh have it 
deposited to your bank. So if you sold five hundred dollars worth of stuff and you want your money, they'll deposit four hundred ninety-eight. Mm. And there was two charges. It was a ten percent and a two point nine percent. And they thought of they're toying with the idea of putting the two point nine percent as a buyer's premium. And uh, what does people, that mean? That means that you pay an extra 2.9% when you buy something. Mm. And then people, yeah, see, that's the attitude. But you'll go on Heritage and spend 20% on the dollar and, and not bad enough. I never bought anything you know on what Heritage. I mean? You know what I mean? Because people are complaining about yeah. it if, they, if they're going to actually do that. Because I haven't seen it yet because I checked. And as, if they're going to do that, they haven't started. Oh, but okay. uh, even though fees are already eliminated for the seller. Mm -hmm. But... The, like I said, those same people, are they going to turn around and bitch that, uh, oh, well, that's 2.9%, but they'll go to an auction house and pay 20 and yeah. uh, like it's no big deal. Um, they're going all out on the origins from Mattel. Said is the biggest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but go And they out. just had a big dump not too long ago. Yeah, because I was at five below. I saw mm -hmm. some figures there at five below. Is the uh, Eternia, not the Eternia, the new one, the Revelations figures. It yeah. was two of the Revelations figures. So I'm, I'm just saying it's other characters out there. Make some of the other characters. Yeah. Quit making the exact same character over and over and over again. That's what, what turned me off about it. Now, when they come out with vehicles, I will get the, the vehicles. Yeah, like, like they're coming they out this collector, new one. Yeah, I'll vehicle. get that. Um. But the figures, no, I do like the way that Hordak looked, though. I'm not going to get it because I already got a ton of Hordaks. Yeah. So it, it makes no sense to me. No idea how Mattel and Hasbro are managing. Their stocks are down. Yeah. They continue to make dollar, <laughs> dollar store toys. Yeah. Yeah. He means yeah. because it gets dumped all yeah. and Ross and mm -hmm. all of those companies end up five below yeah. big lots yeah five below had uh had revelations figures yeah that's what i was five saying i was in piece. there and i took some pictures <laughs> and sent it to david it's a good place to sell stuff i'm considering getting rid of my comic collection on uh -huh. macari ebay is too, too greedy, greedy. Yeah. yeah yeah would you suggest macari yeah uh, you could try them. I mean, see how it feels. Yeah, I've, I've used them yeah. a lot. I've bought comics there, toys there. Those are the only two things. macari has got a lot of comics. Yeah. Yeah. Go on there and buy mine. <laughs> but, um, and the income tax thing. Yeah. Cause it's all, it's been 20,000. It's been 20,000 forever. The income tax, the cap there. Like if you, sold things on eBay, whatever. Mm -hmm. And the um, current administration, the current uh, executive administration wants to change it to $600, which is a huge jump from 20,000. Mm. They want to change it to 600, but these, all these companies, you know, uh, Facebook marketplace and PayPal and, uh, and Macari and eBay, they, they can't work the logistics. It's too big of a change at once. So they've suspended it for the time being. They've suspended it. And then they're going to try putting it to 5,000, I think, next year, mm. and then go to 600. Mm. And it, it's all a load of crap anyways, because apparently this is how we're supposed to make the rich pay their fair share. Yeah, rich people are not selling stuff on eBay and Macari yeah, and, and Amazon. And not, you know and having to report if they sold more than $600 worth of anything in a year.
receipts or whatever, it, it's really unfair to just the common person. Yeah, I think Macari is good. Wish, he um, said. It was wish good. I don't know wish. Oh, I've heard of wish. People make fun it. of it a lot because they have problems with it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. And Zom said Macari is U.S. only. A Japanese-owned company. But uh -oh. I think I think we're, the United States is like their, te their proving ground. They're trying to see if it'll work. <laughs> Text the rich. I'm done with that. Yeah, they, they pay a lot more than you'd, you'd imagine. Hit the like button. Yeah. Can't hear nothing. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Now the sound is back. Ugh, I don't know. That's just tonight, though. It never did we that We didn't before. have that problem. We didn't have that problem before. Mm -mm. Not enough vamp. It better be. I don't know. We done did too much with this stuff. But yeah, I guess it's just gonna be one of those nights. Because we don't we jumped through a lot of hoops to mm -hmm. get the video set up right for when we do stuff like this. You know, yeah. we got the 4K camera, we got the uh we got the the restream package, and you know, I, I drilled a hole and ran cable so that I could plug it directly in so that there's no uh no Wi-Fi problems. Because that was a, an issue once before mm -hmm. was the the stream quality was bad because of the Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and so I hardlined it, you know, trying to give the best experience that we can when we do this kind of stuff with people. And it's a it's, it's frustrating when there's a problem. Reston yeah. says they sold comics and figures on Macari with good results, but I have fair prices. You'll see Captain Carrots chase figures from other sellers for seventy five to hundred, which I believe is unfair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you you got some mm -hmm. people on there um, with some good prices. I yeah. like that they give you the option to make a deal or make an offer. Yes. You can always throw an offer out. The person can accept it, reject it, or, co or counter. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I've, I've had a, the only bad experiences I can say I had with Macari is um, a couple of times the seller didn't ship the item. So then when they didn't ship the item, yeah. Macari cancels it and gives you your money back. Um, outside of that, I never had a problem. Yeah, I'm considering unloading my comics on Macari. On Macari. Yeah, I bought a lot of comics on Macari, a lot of comics on eBay. I never had problems. That That's one anything. thing also with Macari. Um, you can, the only way you can do a bundle, and I don't like this. Uh-huh. If you want to bundle stuff, you got to use the phone app. You can't do it on the computer. And I like I think that's a load of crap. Oh, yeah. It's like why can't I do it on the computer? I got to do it on my phone. What's what's the difference? Because if somebody has like eight things you want and you can bundle it together on your phone and make a group offer and let let the seller consider it, but you can't do it on the computer. How long it took you to grow your beard? Easel monkey. I don't know how long about a month. Hey Ben. How long I've been growing it? Ben from Plymouth. UK, not Plymouth Rock. No, Plymouth, Plymouth UK. Rock, which is about that big, by the way. I've seen it because my uh, my uncle lived in Plymouth. <laughs> like home and it, shopping. And it's does. in like this massive cage so that people won't touch it. Oh, yeah. Because people were chipping pieces off. Oh, it. no. Yeah, because it's as souvenirs. So they built this massive cage around it with this stone barrier. <laughs> I saw it in the 80s. Oh, my God. That's so <laughs> lame. David, when you get comics, <laughs> do you buy single issues? Trade back paperbacks at Omnibus. Well, I, I buy mostly vintage stuff. Um, if we're looking for a run, we'll get an Omnibus because it's just easier to read. Easel says, I can't believe the red armor in the beginning for a Stormbroker Dracula stole. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Stormbroker's Dracula, the film. Yeah. They, there's one scene mm -hmm. where the guy's wearing this red armor. Mm -hmm. Um it, what is it like a minute long and it sold at auction for seventy thousand dollars march 20th it's crazy yeah i i heard that what does that mean no but i mean that's something that was flashed in a film that most people never even heard of or that wasn't even very good anyways because it was a weird movie um that the armor sold to that much he says it was on March 20th that the auction sold. Oh no, you can do Macari on the yeah, um on the can, computer. You can do it on the computer, but you can only bundle, make a bundle offer on the phone. Um, yeah, I buy comics, I buy singles, 
and I have bought some Omnibus. Every time I bought Omnibus, I bought them on um, Amazon because Amazon is really cheap for Omnibus. Um, yeah. But mainly I buy single single comics is is basically what I buy. Trade paperbacks? No. Yeah. Watching 1950, Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. Oh, Ray Harryhausen classic. Bram Stoker. Excellent, Bram Stoker. Yeah. Dracula. And it's, then, you know, the I'm original, the crazy. original Bram, the original Dracula uh, had a handlebar mustache. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen a Dracula with a handlebar mustache in any film. Oh, in yeah. the story, had the big, fierce mustache. <clears throat> And Easel says, uh, oh, he's talking, talking to Ray to somebody. Yeah, Side conversations. That's okay. <laughs> Someone stole the Spider-Man costume. Really? What is that? Uh, the, I don't know. Dorothy's slid out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, somebody stole it. and People it was, do that stuff. And it was lost for years. And then it's they found it in this woman's house. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, how are you going to steal the shoes from the show or, or whatever? You know, you steal people's stuff. Because you can look at them and know that you have it. No one else does. And nobody and knows where it is. they don't know where it is. That's right. <laughs> kind of like the uh, the guy who stole, um, oh, what's his name? Superman. Oh, what was his name? I don't know. Yeah, the, stole his Superman comic, his... Uh, Action comics. Oh, number one. 18 memorabilia. But being in the UK, a lot of the things I really like are overseas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the postage charges. Is a little... And then you got to pay duty too. Yeah. Because they'll kill you on that duty when the stuff comes in. And so I have people, I've sold stuff to people in the UK and they say, Can you say this only costs $10? <laughs> <It's like... laughs> <laughs> or that is a gift. Oh, yeah, a gift. Yeah. Because they, they won't murder you with the, du with the uh, duty. I love the Venice G.I. Joe at Toy Atlanta. I know. Know. Oh, Dale knows G.I. Ace. Yeah. He was a nice guy. Yeah. And he had some great stuff. Yeah. He kept mm -hmm. some. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so he showed us a lot of stuff. Yeah. He was stuff. excited. Yeah. But, it's like, but hey, you, mean, you love the stuff. You're excited. You know, I totally get it. Yeah. Yeah. He had some nice things. I'm not in a G.I. Joe like all that. But I like looking at the box art. I like uh -huh. seeing it displayed and everything. So, yeah, it was nice. David C. loves the 1986 Ara low light. You can't see it. You can see the KMT G.I. Joe jewelry set up there. Low light's on the other side of that display. Oh, what is, oh that's a figure? Yeah. I think someone stole George Clooney Batman costume but gave it back. <laughs> Actually, you know, he's talking about this one. Oh, okay. Oh, let me move that out of the way. If I can get that in the focus there. Oh, come on. It's in focus. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's you can Because I got the uh it's in the case, so it's a little bit of glare. Mm hmm Classic. I love the art on this too. And this was a fun this is one of my favorites. I like the ones when I was growing up that had more of a military look. What do you think about spawn? Oh, you know what was stolen too? Because um, I saw him talking about it in an interview mm -hmm. just recently. Sylvester Stallone's robe from the first Rocky film. Oh, yeah. The one where the robe didn't fit. And they had to tear the sleeves to yeah. get it over his gloves and all of that. Someone stole that robe from his house. And he was. Uh, I saw a clip of him in an interview. He says, I just recently reacquired this. Didn't even know it was gone. Because some, some, uh, some schmuck decided to misappropriate it from my house so how did he get it back i don't know how he got it back you know, what do you think you know they got that show i told you about it um um wwf memorabilia somehow or another but it's mankind and he'll go out with other wwf wrestlers and they'll because they're building the the museum uh -huh. so they go to collectors and then they buy the memorabilia back yes and then they had um <laughs> what oh, is wow, the guy behind. name goldberg yeah goldberg was it goldberg or steve yeah it was goldberg yeah they went to the guy house 
And he had, because he, he wore a certain glove, he wore the same gloves. He bought the same gloves until they got discontinued. And then the guy was like, yeah, I had, I have one of your gloves and you signed it. And then when he got there, he was like, this, I never wore these gloves. These aren't my gloves. Um, and he was like, the reason why I know, because it still has the fingers. He used to cut the fingers off because yeah. it didn't fit over his hand. So he had to cut the fingers out. Yeah. But yeah, they go by. Hold on. Oh, why? Dale wanted the GI. No, me too. That yeah. GI Joe nurse was in real yeah, great nice. shape. Yeah. Oh, you talking to Ray? Nice little and light. what did I think of Spawn? The movie or the comic? Thanks. Yeah. I don't know. Well, what do you think about either one? I saw the movie. The movie was okay. Oh, your display just uh, David turned it interesting. It's no mirrors. Yeah, there's oh, a mirror yeah, on the yeah, side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because those are store displays, and in the yeah. store they had mirrors. Mirror on the side. Those are oh, actually really? those actually came from Payless. Mm -hmm. We we bought those from a Payless that was going out of business. And they fall in the cell in the Rocky and Apollo Creed figures. Uh huh. Okay. And Robert says, love when you tour the convention and show the vendor's website. That's pretty cool. Wondering if anyone actually got business thanks to you. Uh, we've heard that they have. Hey, Donald. Some people have mentioned that. Yep. Thanks yep. for joining us, Night's Donald. Nice going pretty good. And display says. Each art of G.I. Joe book. Oh, no. Features all of the package. Where no, I don't have that. I never heard of that. I don't have that. Saw Nick Foley. Okay. On some documentary a while back. <laughs> Most <laughs> yeah. of them are. But Nick Foley was never in shape now, no. to tell the truth. But a lot of them uh, a lot of them go pretty, you know, things don't go well for them when they get old. Like, look at poor Terry Funk. I mean, when he died, I, hey, don't, Brian. I don't even think he knew he was still Terry Funk anymore. Because he was, Terry he Funk. had, Terry Funk, yeah. He he was in a, he was in a, um, a nursing home with like severe dementia. And it's like oh. that happened fast. Um, oh, you gotta put the at sign and then the yeah, name. Put it at. Yeah, put the at sign. Yeah, thanks and for then joining then us there, Brian. Yeah. And what Ray said McFarlane was a great comic artist. <laughs> Basically, yeah, yeah, Joe 82 to 86 was great because yeah. of more. Military I like that, you know, because when they started getting yeah. kind of weird, mm -hmm. I mean, I still appreciate the figures, you know, because you look at something like this, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, uh, this, <laughs> I mean, that's Raptor, yeah. what he's is, shirtless and yeah. he's got wings. He's the he's the official Cobra Falconer. Oh, okay, what is that about? You know, and I'm like, I have him, but I'm like, what the hell, man. But then you look at dial tone and dial tone still even he's got that big fancy backpack but he still looks military mm -hmm. you know i like that I, I always liked it better when they had a military look to them as opposed to when they started getting really weird <laughs> with some of the uh some of the action figures or like uh repeater repeater's got a, a military look mm -hmm. you know that that was more my wheelhouse as a kid. Mm -hmm. Donald says that he had a good time at Target. He found some figures he wanted from Jada. Oh, Jada toy figure street. Oh, the Street figures. Fighter, yeah, and they're yeah. not they're not that expensive either. Love to get the GI book. Bit too much for me, uh -huh. really. I never I never seen it. How long a wait take you to get to what? Uh, how long does it take for us to get to a convention? Oh, we're not going to more than two and a half no, hours. No, we have a limit. Uh, yeah. That's why we um, we we name the ones when we do our um, <laughs> when we do our weekly roundup. We think about we talk about um, in the roundups when we do the announcements and the upcoming shows shows that are within reach to us. And yeah, Unit says okay. that Terry Funk worked out in the uncle's gym. Yeah, he seemed like a nice guy. I never saw him wrestle. Mm. Um, yeah, we got a limit of how far we I mean, because sometimes it just get out of the out of whack, and then you got to spend the night and all of that, and it makes it more expensive. If you got to buy a hotel, food, get in the show, and uh -huh. then you might want to buy something, gas, and all of that. So we usually go about two and a half, no more than three hours. 
I think the one we go to in South Carolina is right in, in Greenville, South Carolina, is right at three hours or like two hours and 55 minutes, something like that. That's not bad. Yeah. But um but we're not driving no 10 hours to get to a show. No. That's just not gonna and then, happen. Then you're gonna really be mad if you go all the way out there and you don't find nothing. Uh-huh. Do you have another site you see? I only watch YouTube. What do you mean? I don't, I don't understand know. that question. And Ray says a uh, guy that was strung together by conquerors in the past, not to mention Cobra Law, always talking about uh about uh Serpentor. Oh Serpentor. Yeah. Well, the thing with the contrast between G.I. Joe and uh, Cobra was Cobra was considered to be the uh, the terrorist organization of mercenaries, whatever. But if you really take a close look at the structure between G.I. Joe and Cobra, mm -hmm. especially if you watch it on the on the Sunbow cartoon, it really is pretty obvious. The military organization is Cobra. They're very highly structured. Everybody's got uniforms. They got a dental plan, mm -hmm. you know. And I remember that with one of the episodes where the Joes are looking through um, some pamphlets at a base that they raided, and he was like, "They've got a dental plan. <laughs> they have like uh, recreational facilities and yeah. all kinds of things that they do for their people." The reason that they always fail is because there's always turmoil within the within the command structure. Somebody gets upset. They sabotage things because they whip the crap out of GI Joe. In, in the uh, in talking about the Sunbow cartoon specifically, they kick GI Joe's ass, and then somebody gets mad. Baroness gets upset at Destro or something, mm -hmm. and then uh, they make a mistake, or the twins usurp somebody's authority, or something like that happens, or somebody rats them out to GI Joe because they're pissed off, mm -hmm. and then GI Joe wins by default at the. mercenary because a whole bunch of military mm -hmm. quick kicks in the military quick kick was a stunt man that they found on location in antarctica that was doing a crispy uh chocolate bar commercial <laughs> and ha happened to help them out uh what's his name uh shipwreck was mm -hmm. a mercenary that they picked up in an episode that most of them aren't even in the military eagle monkey wants me go to um make more planet of the apes figures oh Planet yeah. Of the Apes, yeah, three hours is kind of tiring, yeah. but it's 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 not that bad. Um, the toy line that has my attention right now is the um, is the Exo Squad and the yeah. Conan the Adventurer. Conan the Adventurer. Yeah, yeah, and I just got a couple of figures from the Conan the Adventurer. It's only eight, <clears throat> and I got three right now, so I still got a few more to go. Yeah. So that's that was, what I'm uh, working on an right early now. Early '90s after school cartoon series. Yeah, it's actually it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's good if you don't mind the shouting. Do they, everybody shouts. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah they're always yelling when it's not necessary. It's like, why are you yelling? Do they serve beer at Toy Lanta? I saw some collectors drink. I didn't notice. Mm, they I got a know. they got like a restaurant there is with a, a restaurant. bar. Yeah, but, there is a restaurant. Um, there. I guess you go there. In, in we Boston. have seen that at some of the VA posts. There's yeah. a couple of times. There's a couple of shows we go to that are held at VA posts, and VA posts often have like a small diner or a bar. Mm -hmm. And we have seen some dealers getting pretty freaking loaded <laughs> at those <laughs> shows. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've I've never seen a good live action <laughs> GI Joe movie. Yeah. Robert says Are you only on YouTube. Or are there a site we have pictures and stuff? No, oh. I, don't, I don't have a website. No, a he, you got pictures on um, Instagram and yeah, Facebook. Yeah, I got the Instagram. That's in yeah, the Facebook in the group. Facebook. But that's you know that's the only it. other places. Uh, uh, Sh Figure Arts, Yu Yu Hakusho line. They already teased Yukus, Yu, uh, Yusuke, mm -hmm. hoping Hi uh, Hi Ai and Yoko Kuruma are not far behind. If I pronounce that correctly. Mm -hmm. And Robert says they almost won with Serpentor. They all they almost win every time. And then, like I said, something goes wrong, and somebody gets ratted out. Like with the mm -hmm. one with the uh, the synthoids was working. Mm -hmm. They replaced all the. Commander kept making fun of him. Rounded up Joe, mm -hmm. told him the whole plan, 
and dumped them off where they could get started. <laughs> they would have lost. Yeah, I'm in the toys. I'm into a lot of stuff. And um toys, yeah. records, comic books, comic books, all that kind vintage of stuff. television. Yeah, we watch a lot of we don't a watch any modern we, TV. Well, we do. We watch Invincible Rarely. and we yeah. watch um <clears throat> Reacher. Uh -huh. We watch Reacher and Invincible. Those are about the only two. Yeah. You know, because they, they 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 fit into what we what we enjoy. Happy yeah. hunting. Thank you, Donald. Always. That's a side. Mm. Oh, okay, no. I was kind of glad Cobra Commander turned Sabento into a snake in the DIC series. series. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's a that's side, side conversation. Side conversation. When is Joe Lanta? Isn't that like it's in up August? In, it's up in, usually, but it's up in the air. Not not uh, not Joe Fest. I know. But, uh, Joe, oh, Joe Lanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe Fest Joe is in August. Yeah, Joe Lanta is a little bit up in the air because I get. I think they had something arranged, but mm -hmm. there was a problem, so they're not a hundred percent on the date exactly. So you know, but when when they are, of course, we'll, we'll announce it you know. on the uh, on the roundup. Let's go up when the Akira new movie. toys and merchandise go up when the movie comes out, uh, for a heartbeat because of speculative buyers, and then it'll drop back to where it was, and it'll fall below where it was if the movie sucks. Some copper and bronze silver surfer, uh -huh. not easy to find at shops around. Yeah, I found out that. A you almost go to ebay or go to a comic um a convention. comic convention you ain't gonna find my local store no no it's almost kind of pointless hate to say it because i, I would rather go to a local store and yeah. find the stuff there but the reality is you you really do oh there's number one marvel fan yeah hey hey how you doing so i just I, I basically go to eBay. Yeah, and again, I mean, we when we go to these things, the toy shows, the comic shows, even the record shows, mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a definitive list because you're you're either not going to find it or it's yeah. going to be stupid expensive. Yeah, and that's why we have the phrase "target of opportunity." Now, is we find something, we stumble over something that we know that we're missing, and we can get a good deal. There you go. Mm -hmm. And like. Like at the last show we were at, the Toy Atlanta, the things I bought, straight target of opportunity. Yeah. Because I had already, you know, settled within myself that I wasn't going to get the original Flash Gordon because it cost too much. That's right. And this one guy had four. And because he had four and I wanted them all, he gave it to me for a good deal. Yeah. Very good deal. It was deal. a real good price, actually. Yeah. I was like, you're crazy. And I had zero intentions of getting exo squad never even looked at them um because you know i just and didn't. when you see them well, yeah when they you are, see them it's like oh man I, I that didn't was realize. the height of uh playmates and and where they were doing their best work mm -hmm. if you've never seen them guys i can grab one real quick mm -hmm. they the artwork is fantastic on the boxes and then the, the oh, toy. Yeah, I remember that episode. The, the toy has uh, the toy has like fantastic playability. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got a fully jointed. It's like a shorter version of, of a GI Joe. It's like a three inch, uh, a raw style with all the jointing. And then he's got this big exo suit that he fits in and fires missiles and does all this stuff. It's fantastic. It was a great idea. Yeah. Every that fast going to set is incredible. Did on Exoscope. Yeah, those. Too such a sweetheart, and everybody looks at her and go, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask. You really do. If you see something and you really want it, you have to ask. And you tell, "Look now, what you gonna do if yeah. I get all this?" And then you don't look like confident you kind of look all sad and bashful yeah. like bracing yourself for rejection <laughs> and any kind of feel that <laughs> <laughs> no she's exaggerating <laughs> <laughs> but i always ask and i tell you, you know i gotta ask you gotta I can't ask. Just, just you tell me it's 200 oh, okay and when when i first started 
I, I didn't ask. And then I saw this one thing and I wanted to get it. And uh, the guy told me the price and I was just going to pay him. And David was like, wait a minute. Hold on. Like, and, Let me look at that. And was like, did you ask? And I said right in front of him, I was like, did you ask if, if there was a bottom line on this? And then she's like, what? And then the seller was like, you know, he's right. Yeah. You supposed you to all, ask. He was like, you know, we all expect it. It's, just, it's okay. <laughs> Because you because you never know there might be yeah. it depends on what I paid for it I might have a little room to play with and she got a better price on it yeah he was like what this. do you want to spend and I said this much and he was like okay <laughs> <laughs> when I have time I drive an hour to a big flea market on Saturday I find great stuff from the yard sellers there yeah you find the best stuff out. record we got today Just in case anybody never saw yeah, these see, these are the playmates excel squad and that of course is a, is the artwork on the front of the box mm -hmm. and it's a flat box later on they make it as a straight window box but these are a flat box and you open it up and you've got the toy in there with the action figure because he the suit open oh. the suit opens all up and he fits inside of it and it launches the rockets and it does all this great stuff that's that's a fantastic toy and this is also why these are so hard to find still sealed in the box because everybody wanted to open these yeah that was the thing and, and if you look for it on ebay it is expensive these are expensive those are yeah. very expensive that guy when um because i threw out a number because first i bought although to be fair two of them? Uh, we you know uh we're we're pretty uh we're pretty decent friends with uh with yeah, Sasquatch. Yeah. yeah the guy we yeah. we are friendly we talk a lot we buy stuff from him all the time um so we kind of know him but you know you you gotta ask i uh yeah i see ebay and macari have silver surfer original guardians of the galaxy and in hum in humans that's really what i'm looking for seems ebay is the place it is especially yeah. if you're looking for specific and then there's one of her uh carded flash yeah. cords. it's even unpunched wasn't feeling defenders many <laughs> kids defenders of the earth wasn't bad i need two more figures to finish that line two or three two i need two more figures no uh thun List. beast man and then the the guy with the wings three no i'm talking about defenders of the oh, earth defenders. i need I'm two sorry. I thought you were figures to, no and oh, Ray says he makes lists. I never knew which toy company put it out. Thanks. Okay. My and NECA's a big flash. I really enjoyed a boss fight. Um, made any best comic book feel to a character onto from the others. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and David C said, "Yeah, the um, shows I like it when they have the price." Yeah, I know because sometimes know. that's that's intimidating. When there's no price on it. Hey, Chance, thanks hey. for doing your weekly update video. So far, I'm happy I haven't seen anything. <laughs> chance, Chance, you should uh, contact me about a collaboration. Yeah, and we still have to have Chance. Chance is the guy. For those of you who don't realize that, nostalgic for the, uh, is it? Uh, is this the right one? Yeah, nostalgic for the seventies. No, that's uh, that's not that's David. Oh, that's David, that's Alexander. David Alexander. Oh, I just saw the nostalgic. I'm sorry, David. Yeah. Hey, David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you um, he says he's broke from customs, he does do a lot of custom work. Yeah, you can, you can find him on, and check, Facebook. on Facebook and check him out. He has a lot, he, he even get the clothes custom made. Yeah. Uh, he does the one six scale um customs and then the clothing and like uh i never oh. oh i'm sorry he says love the exo squad mech suits never understood the connection with robotech me either that's yeah, just they, something they did later on mm -hmm. to merge the two concepts together and i always thought of robotech as a separate entity yeah nostalgic pod blast that's right <laughs> <laughs> that's who I was thinking of just yeah, now. Yeah, I saw the nostalgic and, and, and just assumed that's what it was. I didn't even read the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed watching your channel. You, <laughs> thank Very you. Unique and fun. Well, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Hey, graphic man. How are you? Glad you could make it today. 
but uh yeah and again you know, we just um we enjoy our hobbies we enjoy sharing it and apparently a lot of people seem to appreciate it <laughs> but that's great yeah yeah that's great that's what it's all about because mm -hmm. you need to um what anything nothing no because you, you need an escape yeah you do i mean life is tough enough so you go you read your comics listen to your records mess around with your toys you know dust them off or reconfigure them or whatever hopefully you're dusting them off yeah or you reconfigure if you got them loose you move them around a little bit but um life is hard enough i mean you need some type of escape something without like the invasion of the outside world coming uh -huh. in you got to close off the outside world come think about out of all the flash gordon they never do dale they or... never got to doing the females yeah dale was women. annoying anyway dale right was a kid. load she was, she on was. The, was always uh, even on the cartoon when he was always running he had her wrist and he was dragging her mask oh wow he's doing a custom bootleg maskatron okay with four faces that's that um yeah, maskatron's right there yeah that's that uh what's his, six million dollar man, man figure I yeah that looks good on the shelf yeah see that's the maskatron oh, let me move that out the way so that's people right. can see see there's a little bit of glare but yeah that's the maskatron mm -hmm. kenner six million dollar man Yeah, Six Million Dollar Man was uh, was a really good show, and Kenner made a bundle from, from selling that stuff. Robot. The four, four visages, four faces. Mm -hmm. a... mm -hmm. Okay. I like Dale. <laughs> she, she was, was better, better than Tila. Oh yeah, everybody's better. Everybody's than better than Tila. Tila was just annoying. Tila, Tila was very annoying, and they they even. figured out but yeah we're gonna sign off so thank everybody for coming in and joining us and we'll see you